Graduation season is here, which means many college grads are looking for jobs. But many are looking outside Iowa, and it's hurting the state's population growth. CBS 2 News reporter Melanie Moore spoke to officials trying to keep them here. Melanie. Scott and Tiffany, thousands of University of Iowa students will graduate in the coming weeks. The most recent data from 2014 says about half of graduates reported taking a job in Iowa. They're turning in their final papers, and now it's time to turn the page. Right now I'm thinking I might go to L.A. and try and get an engineering job out there. There's a world of possibilities. The plan is to move to Chicago and hopefully get a... A job. Local organizations hope they start writing that new life chapter in Iowa. We don't have enough people. Um, the, the number of employers that continue to be hiring and from the surveys we do with the local employers, we know that we need more people. Members of the Iowa City Area Development Group say there are plenty of possibilities here, but many students don't know about them. We have great opportunities. We have great companies. We have companies that can compete not only with the other companies down the street, but companies across the state, companies across the country, even internationally. ICAD works continuously linking businesses to future workers. We have this great resource. We have all of these students coming into the state every year to study, and they're learning great things. And uh, it's important for us to make sure that those students know about local opportunities. Business experts say keeping those skilled workers in Iowa will help them put their best foot forward. With the multi-generational workplace, it's great to have young folks get some fresh energy, some new perspectives on, on business and, and technology. I think that's valuable for, for businesses. If you're a student interested in knowing more about the opportunities available here in Iowa, we have resources for you on our website, cbs2iowa.com. Covering the corridor in Iowa City, Melanie Moore, CBS 2 News. Thanks, Melanie.